Jesus bless this message in Jesus name I pray amen okay guys I had a dream <laughs> I had a dream and in my dream the sky was active it was active there was stuff hidden in plain sight okay but it was being uncovered and I saw it uh, spaceships I saw them I saw the spaceships I saw some that looked like hotels I've seen stuff in the sky I told you the sky was going to be very active then I tell you that how many of you let me tell you about the dream. The sky was extremely active. There was spaceships going on. There was stuff cloaked and hidden up in there. And uh, stuff was coming undone. Okay. How many of you today believe the sky is not what it was 50 years ago? It don't even look like it did 50 years ago. If that's, if that's how you feel... Let me know in the comment section, am I the only one? Because to me, it don't look nothing like it did 50 years ago. Everything has changed. The new normal, everything has changed. I've seen things flying up in that sky, y'all, that should not be there. At a speed that should not be there these past four years. Not five, four. <laughs> um, it's like when, the, when, when they shut everything down, Man, they did a lot of, well, right there was like the, the exposing of the beast system. It's right, everything changed, y'all. And they told you, this is a new normal. It ain't going back to the way it was. And it hasn't. Do you remember, I did some videos about three years ago where I was seeing these UFOs. Now, I'm not talking about aliens. I'm talking about UFOs unidentified flying objects i saw them flying through my yard and i videotaped some of them they're you gotta dig them up they're on my channel and they were going at speed rates of speed that no airplane could go didn't have no kind of uh condom no, you know no trail behind them no sound no nothing just booking really strange and i've got some of that on video i've seen things tucked up in there y'all Looking like triangles. I've seen them. Like, like somebody just set it up there. And, and you remember when I told you when I had my near-death experience, I stepped through something. I literally did. I stepped through and pushed it to the side and stepped up a little bit and over into the desert. I stepped through. A veil is what it was. It's a veil. There's veils, y'all. If you knew, well, and you may, you may. Let's put it this way. God is starting to reveal what they're trying to hide. Satan can't hide very long, y'all. He can't. If you knew how active your skies was, y'all, you, if you knew what was outside your house, you would totally trip out. You wouldn't go outside. That's what you wouldn't do. But, you know, us, we have the Holy Spirit. We know he's our protector, so that's that. So I'm fine outside, and so you should be too. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I know a man who was a F-16 fighter. I can't say this right. He he fought airplanes in the in the uh, in the Air Force F-16s fighter jets, and he was a general in the Air Force. And he said, if you knew, he'd been to Area, uh, you know. 51 and all that stuff area 51 things going he'd been there several times can't talk about it but he said if you knew he told me personally if you knew what was outside your door if everybody knew nobody would go outside you'd be scared to death to go outside nobody would walk out that door if you knew what was outside your door um they're being revealed y'all they're being revealed. Now, I'm going to ask you, has any of you, tell me in the comment section, noticed? Now, don't just say it because I'm saying it or just because you've seen it on YouTube or TikTok. Has anybody noticed the sky is not like it was 40 years ago? Do you, to you, does it look different? Does a cloud look different? Because to me, it does. I see a lot of different stuff. And I know when the big C shut everything down, uh, they, they, everything changed. And they told you that. Welcome to the new normal. Do you also remember? Um, I told you last year because the Lord told me. And on January 1st, this year, 2024, right here. You're going to start seeing 
a revealing of things is going to be revealed. Things the enemy's trying to hide and cover up, God's going to pull the, the, the uh, veil back and you're, it's going to be exposed. Things are already being exposed, y'all. Through things, through people, through whatever. It's happening, already happening, and it's going to continue to happen. Y'all, the devil can't hide very long. He got a lot as far as the sky goes. Devil's got a lot of technological um, advances. There's no doubt about that. But you know who invented technology, y'all? Tell me in the comment section who invented technology. I hope you said God because God did that. But the devil has access to some stuff. God gave him this world right here and all the junk that comes along with it. Because it's all going to burn up. It only lasts a little while. So the devil has technological advances. And he's teaching it still today as Genesis chapter 6. He's still teaching it to mankind. So those things flying up in the sky that I see going at a, at a speed of light almost. Is it an unidentified uh, being? I don't know what it is. Is it a person? Is it a um a terrestrial being. I don't know what it is. And I'm not claiming to know. I just know I've never seen it before. And I know I've never seen anything our military has. I've never seen anything in our skies move like those things I've recorded on my videos. That I said, like the nighttime, it looks like a star, but it's not a star. They're way, way up there. I'm talking about way. And you'll see one just cruising and it'll turn, you know. And uh, th you know what I'm saying, y'all? So everything has changed. It's different. I have, I had a video. I still have it. I put it on my website too. Igor did or somebody did. And somebody took it down. Okay. And uh, we still have it though. Where when I would get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm taking that back. Be about 4.30 in the morning because it's still dark. I will get up and I'll talk to Igor and it's, it's about like it is now. Okay, this is the sun's going down. But when the sun about like this starts coming up, the crack of dawn, you'll see a, a lines, a bunch of lines right, right over there in the same spot. Two years in a row. Now, men, not just here and there, I'm talking about different days of the week. When you come out at the certain time of the morning, you'll see them. They're there. And then after the sun rises, maybe about 10 minutes, you can't see it anymore. It's cloaked, y'all. And then you come out the next morning at the right time, catch it at the right time, you'll see it again. It's there. It's there. It's cloaked. It's there. It's meant to be there. And they don't want you to know it is there, whatever it is. I personally think I have an idea of what it could be, but that's just an idea. I could be wrong. You know, when you start talking about 5G and 6G and stuff like that, you know, but I don't know. I just know something's there that shouldn't be there, okay? And they don't want you to know about it. When I put it on YouTube, they tried to correct it, and uh, or in there, that's what they call, called it. Put it on the website. Somebody in the government took it down. Oh, but we still got it, okay? And it's still there. It doesn't change the fact. You know, the Mexico, the president of Mexico wanted to do, I think, I think, I may have this story wrong, but I know he wasn't out there looking for demons or monsters or nothing like that. He was out there getting people ready for some construction. And they went out there, the night crew did, and took some pictures with some night goggles and caught that demon in the tree. Did you see that one? That just demon just hanging out in the tree. These things are manifesting. I told you about my, my niece who adopted a young boy from Africa. Not the same part of location we help, a different part of Africa. But she, uh, I forgot where she got the kid from. But uh, it's a different part of Africa. Very, very poor, another poor part. Um, his family was heavy into witchcraft, big time, voodoo and stuff, big time. And a little boy, I forgot, five, six years old, had all kind of issues. And she lives in New York. So she called her pastor. They prayed and all that bunch of stuff. And she called me and I prayed with her and all that bunch of stuff. And they had a, a baby camera, baby monitor set up in the bedroom. My niece and her husband go to bed and the little boy's in his little crib thing. 
And um, she sees two dark spirits walking across the room on the camera. Her husband jumps up. He gets, he sees it too. He jumps up. He goes in that room. Now, mind you, my niece, beautiful person, uh, been in church her whole life. She didn't, in her eyes, she didn't walk away from God. This is what people do. She quit going to church, though, for about four or five years because life got busy. She didn't hardly read her Bible anymore. But she still considered herself a Christian because at one time she was a really good Christian. But she quit going to church, stopped reading her Bible. What she did, y'all, was walk away from the Lord. Whether you want to admit that or not, that's exactly what happened. Um, she's still a good person, didn't do drugs, didn't drink, didn't cuss, didn't smoke, none of that stuff. Uh, knew about the Lord, agreed with it all, but still walked away from God. Now, this is when I tell you guys this, you, always, you get mad. I didn't walk away from the Lord. Yes, you did. When you stop coming to church for whatever, when you stop reading your Bible because you ain't got time and stuff, you walked away from God, that period. Okay, that's what it is. So anyway, that's what happened. She didn't even recognize it, that she'd done anything wrong. So her husband goes in there and starts pleading the blood in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So he did. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out. And she said, they're still there. They're still there. In the name of Jesus, get out. And she called me, Kim, they won't leave. Why won't they leave? We use the name of Jesus. They won't leave. And Kim, why won't they go? I said, sister, because you're not abiding in that name. You're not abiding in the name of Jesus. I know you love Jesus. But you got to show it to him. You got to make it real personal between you and him. You got to show it to him. You got to do the things that he said to do and continue to do them. Don't let life jump in your way and slow you down and, and stop you from going to church and keep you from walking. You, know, you got you walking away from your church and, and all the don't read in your Bible. You ain't studying. You ain't with the fellowship group. You know, you're doing everything outside of his will, thinking you're still with him and you're not. So you have no legal right to use that name. For a demon to, to uh, take heed to that name from you, you got to be abiding in that name. Then you have a legal right to use it in the name of Jesus when you're abiding in that name. When you're doing what Jesus said to do because you love him. When you are walking with Jesus, not behind. When you're right there walking with him, Lord, Lord, I'm doing everything you've asked me to do because I love you. Because I want this relationship with you. And I'm a doer of your word because I love you. Then you got a right to use that name. And those demons know they can see the light of Jesus Christ in you, y'all. They could smell them on you. When you're 50 miles away, they could smell them, y'all. They will run before you even get a chance to get there. They will run because they know you really carry that torch. But people try to use that name not abiding in him and it's not working out for you because to those demons they're like look at you this is just a game to you they're like you don't even understand the, the name that you're using the power that it carries you don't even love him enough to abide in him the devil's saying you belong to me you understand so make sure y'all you're abiding in jesus i don't know how else to stress it to you people I really don't. You may lose some family, especially right now over the politics and stuff, during what's going on right now, that's for sure. You may lose some friends. Friends will come and go. Sometimes they were never really your friend in the first place. Do you understand? You're going to have to keep your eyes set on Jesus. You're going to have to keep your mind set on Jesus. You're going to have to make sure that you're abiding in and walking with Jesus. We follow him, sure, but when I say we walk with him, it means we're doing exactly what he has us doing. We're doing what he told us to do. Walk with me. You know how God would show up and walk with Adam in the garden? Jesus Christ gave, he came here to give us that, to give us that back, y'all. Take it. Doesn't mean you're playing God, or like some people like to say. It means you're doing what Jesus Christ told us to do. You're walking with the Lord, man. You're abiding in the Lord. 
you're in him. Stay in him. Even if people want to name call you and throw accusations at you, they do it to me. Some people do. But those people are not in Jesus. They're of their father, the devil. Who's the accuser of the brother? It's the devil, okay? So make sure no matter what they say to you, no matter what they talk about you behind your back, no matter what's being said about you, continue. You're going to have to make a choice, y'all, to continue to abide in Jesus. And it's that simple, okay? So there's a lot of things being uncovered right now, y'all, that's hidden a lot of changes is coming, y'all. A whole, I'm telling you. I've been telling you for four years and a lot of changes have already come. There's some big stuff coming, y'all. Big stuff getting ready to change. You guys, now's not the time to walk away from the Lord. But now's the time that Jesus said a lot of people will walk away from him. And they'll think they're Christians. They'll swear them down they are. No. You know where Jesus put you, y'all? Stay where he put you. That's the best bet. That's your safest bet. If you know where he put you, stay there because the devil's going to come and lie to you and say, God don't want you there no more. God changed his mind. You know what God said? I don't never change. Don't let the devil lie to y'all, okay? All right. I love you guys very much. Thank some of you so, so much for what you've done and are doing for my ministry and for the Lord's ministry and for Africa and for everybody that's in this ministry to keep it going up and running and growing and helping it and all that stuff. Helping the kingdom of God. Thank you for being loyal to the kingdom of God. Because we out here doing the work of the Lord, y'all. And I thank you guys very, very much. I love you all. I may see you at 9 p.m. tonight. Not sure. Um, but I will, if I'm here, then I will. If not, I'll definitely see you in the morning about 1030. God bless you guys.